on this day right after Thanksgiving. Unfortunately, the COVID-19 case numbers are not looking good. And just yesterday alone on the holiday, health officials here in the county are saying that 37 people died. And those numbers for positivity cases are just continuing to skyrocket. Now, the mayor has sounded the alarm and he's asking everyone in the city as well as county health officials saying that we need to help flatten the curve. As COVID-19 cases continue to surge on this Black Friday, hospitals, including Cedar sinai Medical Center, are treating more people with the virus. We are starting to see an increase in the number of COVID patients that are being treated in the emergency room and relief as well as the ones who are being admitted to the hospital. L.A. County health officials say one out of every 145 people will be infected. In the U.S., there are more than 110,000 new cases. There were more than 5,000 new cases in L.A. County yesterday alone, and new cases are on track to quadruple by Christmas. However, there is a glimmer of hope on the horizon. Cedar sinai Medical Center is one of the first hospitals in the state and country preparing to receive doses of COVID vaccines. So we will be amongst the first to receive the new Pfizer vaccine. Uh, this vaccine requires ultra cold storage at minus 80 degrees Celsius. It's a two dose vaccine. So meaning there is a dose at day one and a dose at day 21. And the first dose is again to help our body build immunity and the second dose is to strengthen that immunity. In general, doctors say a vaccine can prevent a disease, minimize chances of contracting a disease, or if someone becomes ill, it can reduce severity of symptoms. What's really important to know is that all of the vaccine development in the United States with regards to COVID do not contain any infectious particles. Cedar sinai says they have plenty of PPE equipment to last at least six months or even more in the face of a surge to keep patients and staff safe. Mayor Eric Garcetti tweeted in part, it was projected that one in every 880 L.A. County residents were infected with COVID-19. Now it's estimated it's one in every 145. We have to act now to slow the spread. Please stay home as much as possible. Well, the CDC says this afternoon, even if someone has contracted the virus and they had COVID, they should still get the vaccine because they don't know how long natural immunity lasts. And also, it's possible they could get reinfected. Reporting live here in Hollywood, Gene Kang, KTLA 5 News. Back to you.